Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will build a Canvas app that connects to a daily tasks solution that I've been building based on Dataverse. In the previous demos, I've created two tables, the templates and the daily tasks. I've created a cloud flow that populates the daily tasks from the templates, and I've also done a model-driven app. But in this, I'm going to show you how to do a Canvas-driven app. So let's do that. Let's do a new app, and it's going to be a Canvas app. And it's going to be mostly for the phone. Task to do. Create that. The first thing you're going to get asked here is where do you want to get your data from? You can create a form and create a gallery. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to create a gallery. And of course, it's going to ask me where is that data going to be coming from. So I'm going to just search in the current environment. I have that daily tasks that I created. There we go, daily tasks. And as you see, this canvas here is now showing the gallery, and it's actually showing the title and the description. We don't actually have a, an image for these things, so we can just modify in the gallery that so we don't want an image. There we have a solution where you can display the data. The next step is to create another screen where you can interact with the data and hook these things up. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just modify the name of this uh, screen one. So that's going to be tasks list. And then we're going to create another screen, new screen here. We'll get a template that's nice. Yeah, it's going to be a form, so that's what we want. And we're going to connect that to data. So it's going to be connected to my daily task. And it shows up the, the same fields there. The name, description, and done. That's perfect. Let's just make sure that these are displayed the, the correct way that we want them to. I'm going to edit the fields there and see that the description... Yeah, it's a multi-line text, but that's not where we want. We want to be view rich text. Because we don't want people to modify the stuff here. We want the uh, same thing with the name. That should be just view and uh, view text. But this one should be more modifiable, of course. And there, now we have the title. Actually, that should be the title of, of the task, so we can just modify that. But we'll just do the, the gallery one, of course, selected, and... So then we actually don't need to show this one, we can hide that one also. And let's do that in the edit form, edit fields, and we can just remove that one. All right. So that's it. And uh, now we just need to make sure that these buttons actually do what they're supposed to. So this one here, it should not select the parent. It should navigate to the screen too, right? This button here in the edit form, this button should submit the form. That's already what it's doing. And that's going uh, back. So let's do go back. All right, so I think we are done. Let's play this now on the task list. We'll just go and play that. And you see if I go into the send invoices, I get that. There's no description there. Let's go back and check the buy fruits. There we go. And now I can select that one as uh, yes, that's done. And then we go back. Ah, right, it gets submitted, but it doesn't go back. So that's what we need to do also. Of course, we need to modify that. Yes, I do know that. Okay. So this one should actually go back also. Once the data is submitted, then I want to do another thing. So a new row here is delimited by semicolon to show that there's something new going on. So then I'll go back to the previous screen also. So let's play that again. So now I submit that. And that only works if I'm actually coming from somewhere, but I, now I started playing it. So let's, usually the user will come here, of course. And let's go in there, down, and now we save that, and then we go back. So this one is done. Perfect, sending voices. That one is done also, okay. So now the, the all these tasks are, of course, showing because I have not applied the filter yet. So let's do that. And as you see, we don't have a view there, but we can actually use this active tasks, and that's uh, not going to show anything because the tasks are all done now. So that's a very, very basic app in um, Power Apps Canvas, which actually does what it's supposed to. So again, now to save this, I need to, well, first save it, of course, but then I need to publish it to make it available. 
and there we go publish that and once it's published then I can share it with users and allow them to start using this application but that's uh, the basics of creating a power app canvas driven app connected to a dataverse table thank you for watching this demonstration